Hey everybody, Dave Sand here again, 826 2020. Um, I sang Psalm 91 the other day to you, and uh, it looked like y'all wanted me to keep singing, so this is the third time I sang on my channel. And if you like my channel, check it out, subscribe, press the bell, get my videos. If you like it, share, and tell your friends about me. Sure, just tell me how you feel about this. This is uh, Psalm 923 that I'm singing to you. The Lord is your shepherd, my shepherd. He will lead you in green pastures beside the still waters. I pray as I sing this, you'll picture yourself being led in green pastures beside the still waters, and, and that his rod and his staff thou sh will comfort you, and that you would picture the Lord, that you laying in green pastures and beside still waters in peace, and laying in, in his arms, the Lord's arms, and I uh, pray this ministers to you, and that this would break yokes and bondages and chains, chains of bondage and deliver you and set you free i prayed that the holy spirit would would pray would sing through me to minister to you and that his anointing would fall upon us and i pray this would set you free the lord would set you free through my singing because i know king david sang to saul and then the evil spirits left him. i'm not saying you got evil spirits but uh, he, he felt the peace of god so i want to be my name is david too but i'm not king david unless I'm, well, I'm a king in the lord i guess we're all kings and priests and um women i guess we call them queens but um i want to sing this to you and i hope this ministry if you like this just p p say something in the comments if you want i hope this ministry you let me know if you want because i would like to know if this would minister to you so here's psalm 23 sing it to you a one two and a one two three four <laughs> i'm so nervous here goes the lord is my shepherd i shall not want he maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leads me in the path of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil, I will fear no evil, for thou art with me, thy rod and thy staff, they comfort me, for thou art with me, thy rod and the staff, they comfort me. For thou art with me, for thou art with me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. My cup runneth over, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I said, surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. You shall not want when even the Lord is your shepherd. You shall not want. You shall not want any good thing. The only lions lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want, want, shall not want one good thing. You shall not lack one good thing. The Lord is your provider. I pray this minister to you and you feel the peace of God. I'm not the best singer in the world, but I, if you like this, let me know and I'll keep singing. My mom told me I should keep singing in other comments and people tell me, so I'm going to keep singing. And I hope this ministers to you because I want this to minister to you. I want this to make a difference in your life and, and heal your broken heart and help your mind and spirit and soul and mind. And it's not me. Remember, it's God. And he gets the glory, but I want you to know that he loves you and I love you in Christ and you're going to make it. I don't know what you're going through right now, but he, Jesus does. 
He's your helper. He's your deliverer. He's your healer. He's your savior. He's your gives you direction for your life. He leads you in green pastures beside the still waters. I don't know if I sang this very good, but if you like it, just let me know. And if you want to like, you can and press com put comments in there and press subscribe and press the bell. You can too and get my videos. Uh, whatever you want to do, I just hope this ministry. That's all I care about is. Is that the, I mean, I care about other things too, but I care that this ministers to you and that and you get uh, set free because I want the Lord's presence to be in this video and that He would have His way in your life and in my life and He would help you and deliver you from everything that you're going through. The Bible says many in uh, Psalm 34, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivereth them out of them all. He delivereth you out of them all. And He will. And I love you in Christ and Jesus too. And I hope that you have a wonderful day. And I just want to sing, let me sing this to you again. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not want. He maketh me to lie down in green pastures. He leadeth me beside the still waters. He restoreth my soul. He leadeth me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. Yea, though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear, I will fear no evil. I said, I will fear, I will fear no evil. I will fear no evil. Um, for thou art with me, thy rod and the staff they comfort me. For thou art with me, thy rod and the staff they comfort me. I said, For thou art with me, thy rod and the staff they comfort me. Thou preparest a table before me in the presence of my enemies. Thou anointest my head with oil, my cup runneth over. Surely goodness and mercy shall follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. I said, surely goodness and mercy shall follow, and follow me all the days of my life. And I will dwell, and I will dwell, and I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever, 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 forever. And I will dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Dwell in the house of the Lord forever. Stay with him. If you don't know Jesus, he loves you. Kill him in your heart, your Lord and Savior. He'll give you peace. This peace that you're feeling right now, you can have if you accept Jesus in your heart, your Lord and Savior. Bible says in Romans chapter 10, verses 9, verse, verse, verse uh, 9, or um, that, um, um, how's it go, Lord? Um, that uh, if thou shalt confess with thy mouth the Lord Jesus and believe in thy heart that God hath raised him from the dead, thou shalt be saved. If you're not saved, you can have this peace that God gives that, that, that the world does not give through drugs or, or, or any partying or, or drinking or pornography or any, any kind of garbage sin. You can have this peace that God gives through Jesus if you'll accept him in your heart as your Lord and Savior and repent of your sins. He died on the cross for your sins so you could go to heaven. So if you let him in your heart as your Lord and Savior, he'll deliver you from these bondages and addictions. And, and so I just want you to know that you can go to heaven and that and Jesus loves you and that you don't have to have um, sadness and, and pain and, and sorrow taking over your life. You can have the peace of God. You can rebuke it in Jesus' name and you can know Jesus, the one who loves you and is singing through me to minister to you. And if you want to say this prayer after me and, and know how much he loves you and, and go to heaven, you don't have to go to hell. You can go to heaven and have peace in heaven and peace with God on earth and know him and feel this peace with him. Just repeat after me and say, Lord Jesus, and the Bible says, confess your mouth, Lord Jesus, and believe in your heart that God have raised him from the dead that shall be saved. So repeat after me. I'm either confessing the Lord Jesus, Lord Jesus, come into my heart as my Lord and Savior. I believe you died on the cross for my sins, and God rose you from the dead three days later. 
I ask you to come to my heart and forgive me of all my sins. I repent, Lord. I want to know this peace. Take away my pain, my bondages, and my sorrows and, and torment and suffering that I'm going through, Lord. And just save me, Lord. And just forgive me. And give me this peace that David is telling me about. And I just thank you, Lord, for saving me. In Jesus' name, man. If you said that, you're going to heaven. You're not going to hell and you'll have that peace. You go get in, get in your Bible, read Matthew, Mark, Luke, or John, or start out with one of those. Get, go to church if you can. If you have to social distance, mass, it's okay. Just go to church. Get, hear the Word of God. Get around fellow believers. Stay away from, from the parties, the drugs, drinking, the all that stuff. Stay away from all that stuff. And if you're struggling with that, God will set you free and ask Him to help you set you free. Um, he got me out of drinking and drugs and about a bunch of running from the law and and, uh, and smoking and doing all kinds of bad things. I used to do whole, horrible things. And I do not judge you, but He'll set you free. He set me free. Um, for some things that might take longer than others, but he'll set you free and don't condemn yourself. The devil will tell you, oh, you're not a Christian. You're not going to get this peace. Oh, you can't quit that. That's the devil. He's a liar. Rebuke him in Jesus' name. Now you can rebuke the devil in the name of Jesus. Read Matthew chapter 4. It talks about um, it talks about how Jesus was against the, how the devil tempted the Lord um, three times. The Lord rebuked him and he, he left for a season. But you have to use the name of Jesus and the word of God. Now that you're a Christian, go to church, read your Bible, stay around Christian believers, um, sing, pray, say, Father comes to you in Jesus' name, pray the Lord like that, and just um, read and learn. And I pray this ministers to you, and I pray this made a lot of difference to you, because I sure do love you in Christ, and Lord, the Lord Jesus Christ sure does love you too. So God bless you, and have a great day. Bye-bye.